Hey there YouTube, this is Mike Terry, and in this video we will be solving this uh, migratory bird problem, uh, which is easy problem under implementation. So let's uh, read the problem statement and get into writing the code for this problem. So you have been asked to help study the population of bird migration across the continent. Each type of birds you are interested in will be identified by an integer value. Okay, so each time a particular kind of bird is spotted, its ID number will be added to your array of sightings. Okay, you would uh, like to be uh, like to be able to find out which type of bird is most common given a list of sightings. So your task is to print the type uh, number of that bird. If two number, two or more type of bird are actually common, equally common, choose the type. With the smallest ID number. Okay, so there is an example given. So the array with ID is uh, one, one, two, two, and three. So there are two each of type one and two, and the sighting of type three. So pick the lower of two type uh, seen twice. So type one is the lower. So we have choose the type one. And this is the fun function description input format. Okay, so there is an uh, a list is given, and what we have to do, we have to just simply uh, print the ID of that uh, bird found. Okay, so there is also sample input uh, array size six. Okay, so and we have uh, printed out output is four. Okay, so let's write the code and first of all change the theme to dark. Much better. Now there is one thing also given that yeah, so it is guaranteed uh, constant. Uh, let's see in, in the constant that it is guaranteed that each type is one, two, three, or four. So the ID will be one, either one, two, three, or four, or five. Okay, so these are the fixed number. So what we can do, we can take a array of size five. So first of all, let's loop through the list for. Int i equals to zero, i less than a r r dot size i plus plus. Now what we can do? We can okay. One more thing. First, let's initialize an array. Int a r equals to new int, and the size of array will be five. Now, for oh sorry, now what we will do? We will use switch case to check every array element that which element, uh, which number is it actually? Which ID uh, is the array element? Uh, so, the bird belongs to which ID? And then we will increment the ID in the array number. So let's suppose that we have an array of size five. So we will take index uh, zero for one, index one for two. Uh, and index three, uh, index two for ID three, and so on. So let's use switch case. Switch, and what we will do? We will array dot get i, and let's check. Okay, sorry. We will do this here. So case first case will be one. What we will do? We will increment a r zero plus plus and break. If this is not the case, then we will check case two, and we will do simply array one. Plus plus and break. Then case three. Similar. Lastly, what we will do? We will increment array two for that. Plus plus break. And now case four. 
case for there is index 3 break and last one case 5 and for case 5 we have index number 4 and we will increment this and then break out from the loop so now this is done after that what we have to do let's take two more variable int one will be highest equals to 0 and another will be int uh, one is int highest we, uh, highest is so that we will be checking that if it is the highest or not and then one will be the answer that we have to return so answer equals to 0 now what we will do we will loop through the loop uh, sorry we will loop through the array for int i equals to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus what we will check if array of i is greater than highest then what we will do we will simply assign the value of high uh, array of i to highest so highest will be equal to array of i and another thing that we have to do we have to simply assign the value to the answer as well so answer our answer will be the id and what is id id is the one number greater than the index so for index 0 the id is 1 similarly for index uh, 1 id is 2 and then what we have to do we have to just simply return the sorry -T -U -R -L. return the answer so that's the simple logic what i have done i have just taken an array of size 5 because it's already given that the id will be either 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 <coughs> sorry and then i have used switch case uh, to find whether that the id that is found uh, is which one is that and after that i have uh, taken a for loop and in that i have looped through the array and find the highest one and also return uh, the answer of that so let's try to submit this code and see if it's working or not so this problem has only four test cases okay so all the test cases has been passed as usual so the problem is quite simple and i think that uh, it's a easy problem so you don't have to think that much to solve this problem just uh, read the problem statement uh, one or two time and you will get the logic that how to approach this problem or what logic you have to use for this problem so that's all for this video thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.